In this video we're going to take a look at write tab stops in Word 2016. Um, you know, if you've ever used a typewriter, you know that with uh, an ordinary typewriter the only choice you had for tab stops was left tab stops. So you uh, basically everything would be left aligned, kind of I'm not using a tab here, but uh, this text is all left aligned uh, right underneath this point right here in my ruler. Okay. Um, and that's what you could get with a left tab stop. So you'd set a left tab stop out here somewhere and everything would slide over and get left aligned underneath that. Okay, so left tab stops are pretty straightforward. But with a computer you have other options. And one of those options is a right tab stop. And a left tab stop aligns stuff on the left side. A right tab stop aligns text on the right side. So let me just type in a little bit of junk here and a little bit of junk and a little bit more junk. And we'll make sure that the lines are all different lengths here. Okay. And let's make this one a little more obvious. Okay. So, uh, you know, by default, uh, things are going to be left aligned. This is an alignment feature, by the way, right now. Um, if you want stuff to be all the way over here on the right edge, on your right margin, you can just right align. And you don't have to mess with tabs at all. So now everything is lined up here. But if you want something lined up someplace else in your document, um, well, one choice would be, you know, to just drag this in, I suppose. Um, but if you want to maintain the same right margin, but you want to have some stuff right aligned in the middle of your document here, in the middle of your line, uh, then the only way to do it is with a right tab stop. So that's what we're going to take a look at. Let me undo some of the things that I, okay, let's undo that one thing. And so I'm going to take this stuff right here, and I'm going to get it right aligned underneath the four inch mark, okay? Well, if I click on the four inch mark and go here and put a tab in front of each one of these, uh, well, now they all get left aligned right underneath that four inch mark. And that's what a left tab does. Now what I'm going to do though is I'm going to put a right tab stop there instead. Okay, I'm going to just drag this off for a second here. And whoops, I always do that. If I want to change it on all of them, I've got to remember to select all of them first. By the way, you notice um, let me just select these first two lines. You see there, the, there's a black tab stop there. Uh, that's because there's a tab stop at that point on both of these lines. If I select all three lines and I take a look, uh, it gets a lot lighter. It's a gray tab stop instead. And when you see a gray tab stop, it means that it's set on some of the lines but not all of the lines. So I'm going to take that. I'm just going to drag it off for all of them like I did before. And I still have the tab character in front, so they're going to go to the default tab stop, which is the half inch mark right here, and everything gets lined up at that point. Now I'm going to put a right tab stop out here at the four inch mark. Uh, whatever goes here is whatever is here on the left side. So I've got a left tab right now. I'm going to click once, and I get that upside down T is a center tab. And I'm going to click again, and that backwards L there is a right tab stop. So when the right tab stop is visible here, then if I click someplace and I've got some text selected, then it's going to set a right tab stop for all of that text. So I click there. That automatically gets rid of all of my default tab stops up to that point. They still remain over here at 4 and a half, 5, 5 and a half, 6, and so on. But everything now is going to be right aligned underneath that point. And you can mix left and right tab stops. We'll look at that in another video. Um, but if you want to have stuff right aligned and you don't want it on the margin, uh, the way to do it is put a tab character in front of the text and make sure that what you're tabbing over to is a right tab stop here on the ruler.